Welcome to this lesson. Here, we're going to take a look at Supermetrics for Data Warehousing Solution, specifically Supermetrics for BigQuery product. First of all, we'll answer the question, what is Supermetrics for Google BigQuery? Then, why you should use a data warehousing solution for your marketing reporting? Then, why you should use Supermetrics for BigQuery specifically? Next, we'll discover what kind of reports you could create with Supermetrics for Google BigQuery. You will also get tips, tricks, step-by-step -step instructions, and all the information you need to get your first transfer started. And then we will have some more use cases and a Google Data Studio report created with the help of Supermetrics for BigQuery. And then we will wrap everything up with another assignment. Supermetrics for Google BigQuery transfers data from your marketing platforms to Google BigQuery. Supermetrics for BigQuery consists of connectors that transfer the data seamlessly into your data warehouse without any modifications made to the data. Because Google BigQuery is a data warehouse, let's answer the question, why should you use data warehousing solution for marketing reporting? First, it provides table of performance when reporting large data volumes. As well as that, you can store long-term historical data, have better data ownership, get better computing capabilities, and in addition, you can run complex queries fast. There is almost literally zero maintenance, and you can easily blend data from multiple data sources without compromising on the speed. Now, let's take a look at Supermetrics for Google BigQuery more specifically and the reasons you should start using it. First of all, there is no need to build a custom solution on your own, as we already provide Supermetrics for Google BigQuery connectors. These are the best data warehouse data transfer tool for marketers, as it has managed data pipelines. All the changes and updates to the pipelines are automatically pushed for you, so you would need to worry about that. It's easy to use, and Supermetrics is natively integrated in BigQuery, so all the transfers happen within Google BigQuery's UI. Here you can see a very helpful table on when you should switch to Supermetrics for Google BigQuery from, for example, a spreadsheet solution if you have one. Now, let's take a look at what kind of reports you can create with Supermetrics for Google BigQuery. First of all, you can create trend monitoring reports. Now that you can build a dashboard with three, four years of data, you can start analyzing better patterns, your marketing performance, and track changes over time. Another type of reports, which is super useful to build, is a combined data from different sources report. Google BigQuery allows to slice and dice data with, from different sources in any way you want. In, for example, Data Studio, this process is much slower and the data blending feature allows only left join, which is not very handy when it comes to complex data manipulations. In BigQuery, you can create any types of joins you would like. Hi, this is Talia from Supermetrics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a data backfill to add historical data to your BigQuery project with Supermetrics for BigQuery. Start by going to the BigQuery project you have used with Supermetrics. Go to Transfers and find the transfer created with Supermetrics that you want to use for the data backfill. Before the backfill, make sure you've successfully completed the initial data transfer for your data source. In the top right corner, click on More and select Schedule Backfill. Next, select the start and end dates for your backfill. You can select dates to get up to six months of data with one backfill. New transfer requests will be added for all your selected dates. Depending on the time frame you selected, completing all your transfers may take some time. You can monitor the progress directly in BigQuery or on the Supermetrics team management site. Log into team.supermetrics.com with the Google account with your Supermetrics for BigQuery license. Under Integrations, go to Monitoring. Here, you can easily follow the status of all your transfers across different data sources and BigQuery projects. Once your backfill transfers have been completed, you can run queries for all the dates in your data sets as tables. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your BigQuery data to Google Data Studio with Supermetrics to easily visualize your data. Start out in Google Data Studio and create a new data source. Next, search for BigQuery. With the Supermetrics for BigQuery license, you have access to our Google BigQuery connector for Data Studio. Continue to authorize the connector with the Google account with your Supermetrics for BigQuery license. Next, select the BigQuery dataset 
with a Supermetrics connection and select the field list type. Then, click on Connect. You'll be taken to the field list, where you can see all the dimensions and metrics that are available through the connector. You can also change the name of your data source to make it more informative. That's it. Your data is now connected from BigQuery to Data Studio. You can now create a Data Studio report and easily visualize your data from BigQuery. And now let's take a look at our clients. Cate & Co is an award-winning PPC agency that has improved its data quality, client operations, and team skill sets with Supermetrics for BigQuery. Let's find out how. They are a biddable and PPC agency found in 2015. They have 15 employees and are serving UK and Europe markets. Caddy moved from spreadsheets to a more robust data warehouse in Google BigQuery. After trying Stitch and Fivefront, Caddy selected Supermetrics for BigQuery as their marketing data pipeline. Caddy moves data into BigQuery and then into customer templates and spreadsheets for their client reporting. Supermetrics has improved the consistency of data, upscaled the Caddy's team's data competencies, and saved company both time and money once Caddy and Co. started using Supermetrics for BigQuery. Another interesting example of Supermetrics for BigQuery users is Vanmoo, an e-bike company, which is powering the global growth of their e-bikes through smart data management in Google BigQuery. Vanmoo was founded in 2009, and currently they have a bit over 150 employees serving the markets globally. So what's Vanmoo's success story with Supermetrics? After launching their S2 and X2 electric bicycles, Vanmoo saw a huge growth in demand and data for their business. They've previously used spreadsheets to store data and decided to use Supermetrics for BigQuery to create a marketing data warehouse. The solution allowed Vanmoo to centralize and access their historical data, manage and grow their bike subscription business, and also create reporting dashboards in various BI tools. Supermetrics has also helped Vanmoo team gain big advantages in speed and efficiency of operations, as well as inconsistency of their data. And now let's take a look at today's assignment. Think which reports you'd like to build in BI tools. How far back would you like to look at the data? And what kind of analysis can you perform with large data sets? Just like with Supermetrics API, Supermetrics for BigQuery helps manage these large data sets so the use cases there could be more or less similar. And once again, don't forget to share the reports with us for feedback and tips if you wish once you've built them.